it's extremely difficult to afford a phone. I think it's overpriced. For many Americans, cell phone bills are a necessary and hefty expense, but they don't have to be. Mine's great. Uh, it's uh, I get pretty low cost because I use Google fees. I usually only spend about maybe 30 bucks a month. So how much is too much? I personally would say if you're spending over $80 a month on a cell phone plan for one plan, that's that's far too much. Sherry Riggs is a telecom expert at Whistle Out, a search engine that works with wireless companies to help consumers find the right plan for the right price. She says two places people overspend on cell phone bills are paying for unlimited data they don't use and overlooking mobile virtual network operators, also known as MVNOs. I like to look at it as like a generic brand of cereal. So you can pay full price for the name brand cereal, or you can get the off brand and, and save some money. MVNOs like Mint Mobile and Visible rent space on major carrier networks. That means coverage maps and speeds are often the exact same as their major carrier counterparts. In this case, T-Mobile and Verizon. MVNOs are cheaper because they have different operating costs. Riggs says MVNOs are good for couples or individuals and people okay interacting with customer service online. Major carriers are best for customers that want in-person customer service, high data users, and family plans. If you want to stay on a major carrier, find some friends, get some family members, pump up your multi-line discounts, and save a lot of money. It's important to know when demand on a network is high, the name brand customer gets full speed priority over their MVNO counterparts, who are more likely to experience occasional data throttling. Even without switching carriers, many consumers can likely save money by checking how much data they actually use and picking a plan that best fits that need. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.